So before starting with my uh, topics, actually there, these are topics because there's a lot to be discussed. But, but we need to connect the nervous system. Okay, we will need to recap first before going to another system. Okay, it's gonna be like that. But before anything else, I'm very very happy that I continued my cardiovascular exercise for my uh, proper blood flow circulation. Okay, as one of my corrective <laughs> preventive measures to prevent any diseases, sicknesses, illnesses, or you know whatever. Okay, that will try to attack my immune system. I will try also to develop my critical part immune response <laughs> to eliminate this, you know, unwanted substances and antigens. Oh, medical terms, right? So it's gonna be like that. Wait for a while, yes, I need to make sure that I wait. But you know, my hair was scattered. I need to comb my hair first. <laughs> My gosh, I don't have proper grooming. Okay, why like this? This, this is again the spot. I don't plan to plug, but I changed my mind. I need to plug now. <laughs> Unplugged. I need to comb my hair. Oh my gosh. I love my hair because you know, as 46 years old now <laughs> in the planet Earth, this said, as you go older, your hair will be bald. Uh, getting less, but me, it's getting so many when I grow old. We need to say I establish uh, higher levels of, you know, keratin protein. Okay, this uh, this keratin protein is responsible for the growth of your hair. And also my testosterone, you know, male sexual hormone also is adequate also because it is also responsible for the growth of the hair. Okay, sprouting of the hair in the parts of your body, so also aside from the keratin protein. Okay, as we all know, you know, uh, not really all chemical engineers know this, biochemists, okay, pharmacists or you know, medical science professionals, we know that you know, this keratin protein will help develop the growth of the hair, okay, and also the, the nails and also the maturity of our skin integrity and you know our skin texture like that and everything okay so that's why also that uh you have an an had had bone e that's a sign that you have less keratin protein meaning to say the bacteria are keep on eating your skin then there's no available keratin protein anymore to stabilize the regulation and the control of your skin, uh, you know, substantial hormones, something like that, okay? So again, keratin protein is responsible for the growth of the hair. Could it be the hair in the armpit, in your gonad, penis, or vagina, or your beard here, suwang, or any parts of your hair that occurs in your body parts, and also the growth of your skin. Okay, skin surfaces, quality and texture also, and you have also the growth of your nails. Okay, so if there's something wrong with that, meaning there's a def deficiency of keratin protein. Okay, especially sa mga lalaki that upaw, you need more of keratin protein. That's why also in the ingredients of shampoo, they blended the keratin protein in the mixture in the ingredients. Because keratin protein really helps the growth of hair to prevent a little bit of baldness to men. So if you, if you think that, oh my gosh, he is 20 years old, but you don't have hair anymore, meaning he has less keratin protein. Okay, that's clear. Highly technical and scientific. Any questions so far for that keratin to but you so? That's not our topic, huh? Okay, forgive me because I'm very, very, you know, as much as possible, I could try to connect everything related to health or science. Okay, I must try to weigh my weight now. Okay, I'm ah, very, very thankful to God. Thank you, Lord, four times in a week. Usually, three times minimum like that, or sometimes two times minimum in a week. But now, four times a week. Maximum of four times, as I told you, my cardiovascular exercise. Maximum of four times. And minimum of two times. Okay? And then I'll try to weigh. 
Oh my gosh! Ta da 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 da! Let there be light! Wow! 64 kilograms. Oh my gosh! Last week I'm 65 kilograms, but now 64 kilograms. Just like that, 64, 65, 64, 65, meaning I'm stabilizing my weight. And also my blood pressure now is still maintaining at 120 over 80. Okay, the relationship between my systolic and my diastolic. So, you know, get the point. Oh my gosh. Help it, guys, in June, June, right? Okay. Now, so as I go exercise, I keep on thinking on my brain cells like this was my toppy. And then as I keep thinking of too much information when like doing the round one, round two, round three, until I reach 20 rounds in the cricket. Oh my gosh, I need to know and establish what's the formula of this uh, propylic acid. Because before I studied propylic acid chemical reaction, apart from the other components and the electrolytes that will be producing in our you know urine or in our sweat or in our tears. I forgot the formula of propionic acid because it's said in my research long, long time ago, way back, you know, after my college, that propionic acid really contributes the, the, the bad water of a man or a woman that's called in the Messiah Anghit. Anghit that is propionic acid. Okay? So we need to remove the propionic acid by hygiene only. Okay? Uh, always take a bath two times a day, something like that. Then you have to eat uh, citrus fruits, really few vegetables, like that. Only, you know, hygiene, cleanliness of yourself. Okay, you got the point? So I need to know the for to remember the formula. I forgot. I remember butyric acid, the acid found in cheese, butter, something like that. The stearic acid, acid found in a meat or the pork or whatever and then you know also in the mayonnaise or even in the formulation of detergent bar okay you can find here also stearic acid right and then a lot of acid ascorbic acid name it okay so most of the acids are accumulated in my brain cells <laughs> and bases because i love theory and my profession in chemical engineering especially chemistry Okay, talking about theories and principles, name it. Okay, medyo pasok sa banga. Okay? Something like that. And that's really <laughs> my strength. Okay? So, what will happen if there's no theory questions in the board examination? I could not just imagine. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, never mind with the problem solving because it can be learned by basic concepts, formulas, and equations if you know how to derive. Things like that. You don't have to memorize that much, right? In math, I don't, I'm not good. I'm not good in math. I'm just average. But I can do also with Buhay study in math if I want to. Okay. But the point. Nakalokabis <laughs> Buhay. Yes. My style is I will not focus on the difficult problem solving. I need to focus on the basic, basic, simple, then average, a little bit average, something like that. Okay. Not, I'll never attempt if I cannot really understand because it will take my time instead of studying another thing. Okay? You get the point. Okay, going back to propionic acid, as we can remember really in our organic chemistry, as we can remember we have the three, uh, you know, alkyl families, right? We have the alkane, alkene, and the alkyne. And if we say, uh, you know, hydrocarbon to post of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms. Now we have the formulas in there in which I discussed that over and over again since I start vlogging, right? I discussed to you that if the alkene is a single bond, the alkene is a double bond, okay? The alkene is a triple bond and there's a formula corresponding to that also CNH2N plus two for the alkane group, CNH2N minus two for the double bond, something like that, right? And for the triple bond, blah, 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 so and so. Okay, you get the point. So you can just adjust that there as long as you know the number of atoms. Since we have, for example, we have, I forgot really now. What's the formula? Okay, now if we have propyl alcohol, uh, propanol, okay, like that, so propane, so this signals that 
propionic also have three carbon atoms. But it is only an acid. Okay, now we need to understand the functional groups of organic chemistry. That's, that is an acid, meaning carboxylic acid. Okay, if you forgot, I'll teach you a technique of how to, to establish the formula. If you forgot really the general formula, the chemical formula of uh, millions of chemicals around you. Okay, so if we have like this propionic, uh, you know, uh, similar to uh, I say propyl alcohol, okay, alcohol. We have also isopropyl alcohol, but it has to do something with the orientation. With the, it could be a cis para like that. You know the orientation only of the carbon and hydrogen attachment. That's weird. Propyl and isopropyl, okay. Isopropyl is banned because it is highly, you know, carcinogenic. Something like that, okay. But again, they kept on selling that the green color, okay, because that is not good to the skin surfaces, okay. So ethyl alcohol is better. Get the point? Then we have uh, isopropyl is really the isomer of propyl alcohol, okay. Meaning the same chem the same chemical formula, but differ in their structural formula may have the same application but also differ in some applications okay get the point oh ganan. so we have also propene propene is very common because it is a liquefied petroleum cups we used to cook our food and it's in the cylinder right and that is common okay the get the point so i think it, everybody knows that but they don't know only the formula Unless they are a chemical engineer or a chemist, they don't know the formula. But some also, even though they are not chemical engineers or chemists, they, have, they know the formula if they love chemistry. Okay? So we have propane. Propane is LPG, liquefied petroleum gas. We have also LN, LNG, right? Liquefied natural gas, which is the methane gas, CH4. Okay? Like that. So propane. So this propane have three carbon atoms, right? So C three H A like that, and then propyl alcohol. There's also three carbon atoms. Since we know the functional group of alcohol is OH hydroxyl group, then make a band with three carbon atoms. One carbon, one two three because there are three carbon atoms. Okay, then put single band. One, two, three. Since we know also in the rule of organic chemistry, in chemical bonding, especially in the Lewis dot structures uh, principles, you know, Lewis of acidity and basicity principles, not the Bronsted Lowry and the Arrhenius theory, right? We have three theories of acidity and basicity, right? If you love chemistry, then you know this theories of acidity and basicity. It will be coming from first year college to fourth year college, or if you take engineering, up, up to fifth year college. Just memorize the concepts between these three, okay? And then perfect, you can understand the expression of concentrations. Okay, you got the point. So we have three carbon atoms, okay? So we know that B, C, N, O, F. This is basically the, in the periodic table, we have the group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. You have also to familiarize the periodic table, ha? chemical engineering students and BS chemistry students or chemistry related profession. It's a first year practicum, you familiarize na. Pwede na mong tayo sa mga periodic table. So memorize the basic elements. Okay, bear that in your mind that there are 17 non metals. Okay, 17 non-metals, and there are at least 189 elements in the periodic table. A range in increasing atomic number from left to right, and also increasing atomic number from top to bottom. Okay, and the corresponding molecular weight also will be directly proportional to its atomic number. As the atomic number will increase, the <laughs> to make it also increase, right? And the other physical properties and chemical properties such as electronegativity, electron affinity, the atomic radius, like that, or let us say the 
yung na, the Van der Waals interaction, the nuclear forces interaction, with intermolecular forces interaction, intramolecular forces interaction, the you know the hydrogen bonding, okay, the covalent bonding, everything, the polarity, the non-polarity, chemical bonding, name it, okay. So so imo practice sa first year college, memorize all the chemical bondings and principles and concepts like that, okay. Pagkumpiansa, you get the point, ana na siya, okay. So, dito mo mapugos ako style, but I'm just telling you a guy. Okay, ayaw ko pagbiyansa na. Sige, mong bibit-bibit sa inyo. Kuan. So, i-memorize ko na mga basic-basic chuba-chucho. Ha? Okay, like that. So, we have, since we have, uh, this is eight, group eight, um, one, group seven, ang protein, right? Okay, since we have the group eight here. Okay, the helium, the neon, sinon, Okay, argon, krypton, and radon. This is the last group in the periodic table of group number eight, of what we call as the noble gases, or the, you know, also we see inert gases that are stable in its natural state. They will never react because they are stable. So they are noble, okay? Naturally active. Once you are stable, you are not reactive anymore, okay? That's why you cannot see in the books neon hydroxide. Okay, argon chloride, you can never that. You can never see that kind of chemical compound. So there's a rule. Okay? Group number eight will never react to any other elements. Period. Okay. Now, group seven is the fluorine. Group six is the oxygen. Group five is the nitrogen. Group four is the carbon. Group three is the bromine. Oh wow. Basically. Carbon also is non-metal. When I was in first, no, when I was in a third year high school, because I love chemistry that much. So after I became the champion of the chemistry quiz in Naga National High School, shout out to my, to my friends and classmates in Naga National High School. When I won the grand prize quiz bowl in chemistry, I really, I really studied a lot back after that. Okay, then I found out what's the characteristic of this carbon. And when my friends go there, I will really go to the tree and scan the books like that. I have my own world, things like that. I am not a barcadista, okay? Then I will isolate something and I take a seat and scan the books. Ganon! Okay? And then, mag-kibot-kibot ang bakba. There are two styles. Sometimes I will study in, uh, you know, sound. And sometimes I will study without sound effect. When I study without, without sound effect during transportation in tricycle from Tinaan to, you know, to the city of Naga, tricycle, okay? No sound, okay? When I go to the, you know, in the, ito mga, dagko kayo mga kahoy, matuon po dito, kung may mga bato, something like that, magkibot-kibot akong bakbak, okay? Gano po, pero nai mo agi, magbilog sa buko, charo. O diba, so that's my style. Plan ko dito magtuon po sa house or sa home. So, so many, I have so many uh, habitat in my studying or place. Get the point? Not enough in home only. So, in school, in transportation, and in home. <laughs> okay, I don't have to time watch movies like that or TV series like that. Okay? My happiness is on the singing and bending with my family. Okay? You get the point? And then like that. So, a uh, carbon is non-metal mga palata. Don't be confused because some are thinking that this is a metal. Okay? This is non-metal. Carbon and silicon is non-metal. Okay. So if you try to, to go back to the theories and concepts of geology, I'm not a geologist. Okay, but since we study chemicals a lot in the Earth's crust, okay, we found out Maybe you know this already, that the most abundant element in the planet Earth is the oxygen. Second is the silicon. Third is the aluminum. And there's also magnesium, calcium, blah, 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 and so on. Okay? So if the question will say, the most abundant metal in the planet Earth, your answer will be aluminum. Because silicon is not a metal. Silicon and oxygen is non-metal. So if the question will say, what is the most abundant element in the soil 
your answer will be silicon. That's why we have silicon dioxide or silica. That is a compound, okay, mixed with silicon element. You will never answer silica because that is compound. The question is the most abundant element in the land, in the soil, in the earth's crust will be silicon. Okay? It's not the aluminum. Because aluminum is the metal. And it is only top three. And it's not also oxygen because oxygen is a gas. And it's not in the soil. You get the point? So things like that, you have to extract the question. Okay, because I remember that it came out in the board examination. The most abundant element in the... The question there, the most abundant element in, in the soil. And the traces will be like this. And I, understand, I answered silicon. And that's correct. Okay? You get the point? Done on. Okay, so you should be careful. So again, the most abundant metal in the planet Earth is aluminum. The most abundant element in the planet Earth is oxygen. The most abundant element in the land is silicon. Okay, and that's very clear. So, silica is a compound, SiO2. It's not an element. Okay. And that is a raw material of producing cement, right? Okay. So we have here boron. Boron also is really uh, non-metal. Take note, carbon is four, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Here, mga palangka, kumita at the top represents the valence. Valence is Okay, valence electrons is very important, especially in the outermost shell in your electronic configuration. Okay, and also in your chemical bonding, especially the redox, chemical reaction, oxidation reduction. And the bottom is will be your the number of your band, something like that. Okay? How many bands you will be able to do? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. So maximum band of boron is five. Carbon is four. So going back here, carbon. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now since carbon hydroxide is OH, so put anywhere else because we are not specific. We're not saying, saying uh, two, three propyl alcohol because the number would represents the number of carbonyl group. What's the, num the numbering? Your numbering will start from the right, the normal procedure of IOPA, International Union for Pure Applied Chemistry. Okay, but if you start to the, to the left, that would be omega thing. Omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, omega 4, omega 5. That's why we have omega 3 fats. Okay, because the, the counting of chemical structure formula is in the left. Okay. Like that, but our counting, our counting in natural will be in the right. It's here, carbonyl one, carbonyl two, carbonyl three. But we don't know yet because this is no number. We will see only put it upon. So anywhere you will put the H. For example, I will put here. So the other H na lang siya. H H H H H. So this is count the carbon. Carbon to be. Count the hydrogen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, children? Seven hydrogen atoms. Like that. How many OH? One or OH. So your formula of propyl alcohol is C3H7OH. Now for propionic acid. Because I forgot. This is the anghet. Huh? That's due to propionic acid. And then, if you want to go to the slum, that is through lactic acid. Because lactic acid will come out during physical exercises or physical activities that's present in the sweat. Okay. Okay. As, at least we know what chemicals are that. You know, you can't get it. You can't get it. You can't get it. Like that. So that you know also, it's going to be like that, right? Yes. To be highly technical. Shabbat. Shabbat lah. Okay, <laughs> we have propionic acid. Okay, propionic acid, anhydride. 
Okay, bahong ilo. So, the formula of group unit, we have three carbon atoms. Okay. And then we have acid. This is organic acid. So, carboxylic functional group, COOH. So, it's going to be carbon O, double bond oxygen, and you're going to have here OH. COOH. Take note what the bands. As I told you, our rule. Oh, okay, our rule in organic chemistry. One, two, three, four bands of carbon. So COOH is expected to have one double bond between oxygen and carbon. So we have three carbon. Okay, three carbon. One, two, three. Okay, like that. Okay, so acid. You will put COOH na talaga. Go where? Anywhere. Because there's also no numbering. Well, 2, 1, propulic acid, 3, there's no specific where to put. Okay? So it's gonna be like it's gonna be put in the last. So it's double bond, oxygen, double two, 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 and OH. And here, H, H, H. So carbon, four simple bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4, add hydrogen. 1, 2, 3, 4, add hydrogen. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Count the carbon. C three. Count the hydrogen. One, two, three, four, five, six. H six. Count the oxygen. One like that. So we have C three H six O. This is the general formula of propionic acid. Even though I forgot, but I can write the chemical formula. Okay, propionic acid okay like that now if you try to rearrange this one also you can have that as okay ch3 ch3 right oh good oh ch3 ch3 is co ch3 ch3 co like that or you can have also cooh somewhere along the way here and adjust the carbon so these are three carbons, so there are two carbon na lang siya, and hydrogen 6, so H5 na lang siya, ganun ba chu chu okay, ganun. Mm. So, ganun. Okay, C2, H5, chu ba chu chu ganun. C3, 6, O2, okay, 1, 2, oxygen, sorry, yes, 2 oxygen, 1, 2, okay, nadaot na akong mata. Charot! I'm aging. I think I'm lacking of lutein. Lutein is a protein to clearly see objects, the lights, and everything. This lutein protein found in eating egg. Egg yolk. If you love to eat the yellow color in the eggs five times a day, then it will make your retina brighter. You can see clearly. Okay, just like carotenoid vitamin A. Okay. It's gonna be like that. So rich in lutein for clear eyesight and vision. This is the protein we need. Not only that, aside from lutein, we have also zeaxanthin. Okay, it's also another protein to avoid blindness, cataract, glaucoma, something like that. Okay, so you all you have to do is to reach uh, to eat rich in vitamin A. Katong squash. Carrots. You can identify that by watching the colors. If that is more on orange colors, then basically there's a vitamin A carotenoid for that. But not all, but mostly. Okay, you get the point. Mm. Carrots and squash. Okay? Anaksha. Oh. So, Munisha, secret, it's this auto is propionic acid. Guys. Okay, now the propionic acid removed from my body and I smell so not really not but I smell a little bit of no good. <laughs> Normally all people will smell no good if you know if you release the sweat. There's no perfect. Okay? Like that. So that is the propionic acid. So now if you try to be smart, try lama not to force. <laughs> okay? So you need to put a table, okay, in your notebook, okay, if, if you love chemistry lecture, something like that, don't wait for your teacher to tell you what to do, try to have your own initiative, okay, 
in your study memorization. You get the point. Okay? So, another thing you want to do is the cut or acids, base, alcohol, like that, fats, okay, sugars, or carbohydrates, protein, hormone, enzyme, okay, like that. You get the part, mga talaga kung itag, and then also you will have also antibodies, antibodies, okay, and antigen. Now let's explain what is antigen. Why we have antigen test? Why? Because antigens represent the bad living organisms such as bacteria, viruses, germs, parasite, worms, Escherichia coli family, Salmonella. We have also Clostridium family. We have Clostridium butylinum, like that. We have also Clostridium tetani, a bacteria that can cause tetanus if you are born. Okay, and also the bacterium, talaga, Helicobacter pyrori, that can cause ulcer. A bacteria that can cause ulcer, peptic ulcer, in your intestinal hormonal problem, something like that. Okay, so these are the bacteria, chuba chuchu. Okay, what else? How many bacteria? I cannot name everything. Okay, there's a lot of them. Basta mo na nasa. These are all antigens. That's why we have antigen test. To test this, if they occur to a human being. Okay. But, how can we identify that? We need to introduce an enzyme. Because an enzyme will try to react with these antigens and will try to trap according to their uh, shape. Okay. The substrate and the shape. If their shape is equal, okay, then they will be trapped. If not equal, it will be not catch. Something like that. So they use the enzymes polymerase. Okay. Polymerase is an enzyme. Okay, used in this. Coming from the word polymer in organic chemistry. That's what we have. Polymerase, okay, polymerase coronavirus test. Something like that. Okay? You got the point? Okay. This is polymerase chain reaction test. PCR test. Again. PCR test. Okay. Polymerase chain reaction test. Chain reaction meaning it will produce a chemical reaction after you introduce the enzyme in your immune system. And this enzyme will attract the bacteria and will catch. So you can easily see or you can easily detect the presence of coronavirus protein. Because this virus will attract the protein. Okay, they will bind there. This Y-shaped protein called antibodies. Okay, this antibodies is very important because the more you have this, they will bind. They will recognize this antigen and part They will aid the killing and destruction of these viruses. That's why we need to have adequate level of antibodies. And now that's the difference between antibodies and the antigens. Antigens, is ba antigens are bad, okay, organisms, and antibodies are good protein, okay? That is really a critical part in our immune response to bind with this antigen in order for them to eliminate in our immune system. Okay? Now we understand. That's, that's why we have tests, PCR tests. Okay? Like that, chuba chucho. Okay? Get the point. Nana siya, guys. Uh, diba? Any questions so far? Wala na. Hmm. Ano siya mga talaga kung hitan? Okay. So, kung sa pa man na itong dumato, so kung ang antigen test na ganit siya, bacteria na siya, ha? Okay, it doesn't aid. You don't put the enzyme there. Okay? Polymerase is an enzyme, ha? Okay? You get the point to, to speed up the reaction in order for the, for the antigens to, to bind. Okay? If there's no polymerase, then they will never react into your system. This 
Pero says, and they, you will never have data if you're positive or negative. Okay? You get the point. Anak siya. Kaya dito doon na tamo, ang enzyme talaga ends with ASE. Sugar ends in OSE. Ganun. Mga protein ends in INEE or hormone INEE. Muna siya kategory. So, if you're, st- if you're in a first year college, make a table for all the hormones, proteins, antibodies, antigenes, bases, acids, like that, okay? Sugars, carbohydrates, you know, acids, uh, lipids, fats, and then make a graph, a table, and enumerate all the substances in the planet Earth. Kutub sa imong mahimo. Okay? It's up to you. Okay, ganon. Para hindi ka board examination, may luso. Okay? You get the point. Makuha mo ka ng mga chemical formula. You get the point. Ganon. Okay. Oh my gosh. Any questions so far? So, gano'n dyan, may mo-exert yung tag-effort. <laughs> Nakakaloka. Okay, gano'n siya. Okay. Kung gano'n dyan kayo mo chemistry, dali na kayo, kapag mo gano'n ka po yan, mo din sa ninyo mahimu, ha? Okay, you get the point. Ano na siya mga palang akong hitad. Okay. Now, mayroon na siya mga acids and bases. Like, blah, 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 so on. So, so anong kinangalanan na ito mga acids and bases? They are used in, as a transportation liquids and fluids. Okay, and also digestion acids and fluid, and also we will try also to act as a precursor for the metabolism and any synthesis and decomposition reaction. Get the point, Mr. Arbadi. Okay, synthesis meaning from smaller chemicals, they will bind into a big uh, macromolecules or one of synthesis, decomposition from big. Uh, you know, molecules into smaller molecules, something like that. And egg metabolism also, these acids and bases. If you don't have like that, then we cannot secrete hormones because hormones also can be secreted through acids and juices inside our digestive system, something like that. Good to point. Now, we have a flow chart, guys. Diba nani siyang ecosystems and normal sa atong environment. This is the planet Earth. Okay, planet Earth. Based on my research, since I was in high school, the, the parent science of all is the chemistry. All sciences will only get information from chemistry, the physics, the geology, the metallurgy, the nuclear science, okay? The environmental science, the biology, the geology, the marine biology, zoology, botany, immunology, Sismology, like that, mining, like that. All sciences will get sources and data from chemistry. Chemistry is the parent of all pure sciences, okay? Including medical science. Medical science also will get from chemistry. Health science will get from all, they will get from chemistry. Okay? So, siya do ang parent, okay? You got the point? So, so if we try to understand really the, the, the macro perspective of pure sciences world, which is the center of the block of I am a singer, eternal voice. Okay, you got the point. Anna Fisha, guys. Okay, we have planet Earth and we have the ecosystem. Okay, planet Earth and then we have the ecosystem here. The ecosystem, the ecology, <laughs> ecology, and we have here the land and the water here. Okay, and then there are people here. Then we will never fall. If we will fall, we will fall to the universe, outer space. So we will never fall because physics can explain to that. We have force of gravity. You get the point? Like that. So here, we have the water, the land. The water is 75%. We are surrounded by 75% water of our planet Earth. It's more than the land. Okay? Now we have the ecosystem. Ecosystem is the interaction between living organisms and his environment and their environment or habitat. Habitat could either be land, air, 
and soil. Okay, that's habitat or the environment or the ecology, something like that. Okay, that's ecosystem. That's the difference between ecosystem and ecology is mainly the environment that we live in, our habitat. Okay, now it's gonna be like that. In our ecology, inside our planet Earth, okay, so we have plants and animals. Let's say plants and lamuna. Okay, because animals also consider to some living organisms, right? We have the plants. Oh. So we have human being here. Ganon. I love this drawing. This is fine arts, right? Ganon. This is the, the this is the Proxima Centauri. You know Proxima Proxima Centauri is the scientific name of the sun. Our solar energy. Proxima Centauri is the biggest star in the universe. Okay, like that. The star of the sun is composed of helium, uh, first hydrogen, and then converted to deuterium, converted to tritium, and then converted to helium later. Okay, like that. And then also have phosphorus. So these are the, the gases involved in the sun. Okay, now this phosphorus will be up to the plants. Okay, this phosphorus. Okay, and this also heat of the sun will be up to the plants. So this is now will be our photosynthesis. Okay, reaction. Okay, now since in our ecology we have the CO2 already there. Why? Because all animals are releasing carbon dioxide in the planet Earth during exhalation process. Exhale. And also, we have rich of carbon dioxide due to climate change. Okay? The greenhouse gases also are being released okay, in our planet Earth because of industrial uh, industrialization or industrial revolution that started in 1800s. Okay? So, it's very big problem now, okay, because we have greenhouse gases that will go to the ozone layer of the sun here. So the greenhouse gases is CO2. Let's say we take CO2 from the pollution, <laughs> example, okay, and the, or the CO2 from the human being, or human, plus the water. Okay, the water will be coming from the, it could be the sea, the lake, the river, the, it could be also the, the creek, the drinking water, we have also the any kinds of water, okay? This is the water. But most of the times it is natural by rain. Okay, condensation process of the natural condensation process of the earth. The, the relationship between heating and cooling system over planet Earth. That's why we have also water here. Moon one. Okay. CO2 plus H2O plus the sun, the heat of the sun, plus the phosphorus. Now plus the chlorophyll. Okay, this will produce, okay, energy-giving food, which is mainly the carbohydrates family, C6H12, O6, plus the oxygen gas here. This C6H12, O6 is the representative of the carbohydrates family, okay, which is mainly the glucose sugars, which is the raw material and our precursor of our anaerobic Okay, aerobic respiration and aerobic respiration for the living organism in order for us to, die, to live, not to die, to live. Okay, like that. Okay, this glucose is coming from this reaction, okay, from the chlorophyll. And the chlorophyll, the chemical reaction is carbon C55, okay, H72, nitrogen is 4, oxygen is 5, and the magnesium. There's also magnesium. So where this magnesium and phosphorus will go? Since we cannot produce this glucose, the product is glucose and oxygen only, in which the human being will receive in the food and in the drinks. Where this magnesium? It will never participate in our reaction of the photosynthesis. The phosphorus will act only as a catalyst during oxidative phosphorylation. Okay, and then it will create the compound here, react to the chlorophyll here. 
Okay, like that. So this phosphorus, guys, and this magnesium will go to the environment. And after going to the environment, the plants again receive that. That's why banana is rich in magnesium. Because the magnesium cannot travel in the product, in the photosynthesis. So, he will like this. And now, my magnesium is from the lab of Oh, sa atong chlorophyll. Yan yung mata, chlorophyll, yung react sa phosphorus, yung sa CO2, yung no, hindi ba siya mo apil sa prada. Meaning to say, the magnesium and phosphorus will go back to the environment and they will be absorbing to the plants and animals. In which, that's also our food. Our, our drinks. That's why we have that in our system. Because we need that because for our bone health. Strong bone health, development of bone health, to avoid osteomalasses, okay, the softening of the bone, then later osteoporosis, the weakening of the bone, we need a lot of magnesium and phosphorus and also the most popular calcium. Okay, with special participation of vitamin D absorption, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3, something like, okay, you get the point, anak siya. So, ang um, mga sa video, ang katuran, glucose o ang oxygen. Oxygen gas is for our cellular respiration. Cellular respiration meaning cells, but at the organs. Because all our vital organs have cells. The cell membrane. Okay, that's why cellular respiration. Respiration meaning respiration. Through function of respiratory system. It needs oxygen. Second to second. That's the point. And the energy also. So this would be, so let's, let's put this as photosynthesis only. Okay, first flow chart. <laughs> Ang haba ng explanation sa photosynthesis ba? Diba? Okay. Now, ako na ganito siyang gilid. So, di ba nikuha ko glucose dito? Mupulos pa ganito siyang koan. Adenosine triphosphate. Moto ang phosphate. Pwede siya mo present sa product. Mupa na siya, mumulungwa na siya sa atmosphere na ma-receive sa mga plants. Mga nangyakon ko para sa mga mission. Diba? Hindi siya mag-participate sa product ba? You got the point? Hmm. Naman mo yung nga na, guys, mabalik na siya sa atong habitat in which we take also because we eat the plants as our food, animals as our food. Okay? You got the point. Ana. Okay. Ana lang na siya, guys. Photosynthesis, ganon, chuba, chuba, chuba. Ganon. Photosynthesis and then we have glycolysis. Okay. Ganon. Cellular respiration, ganon, and then we have here, okay, we have the acetyl COA, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. Okay, explain na lang ako ninyo na muna siya yung mga flow chart. Okay, so asa lang mo hatagot ka energy? Dari ari, hatagot ka energy sa tao. Dari ari. Okay, so mga tatak siya energy. Sa to paano ang energy siya, guys? Food and drinks, then hormone. Gitso rin siya hormone. Okay, food plus drinks. Okay, then hormone na output. Hormone. Okay, and sa to atong mga matut sa to mga Acids, bases, proteins, nucleic acid, fats, all kinds of substances is in the intermediate chemical reaction in our body. Okay, and then to produce hormone. Why hormone is the last? Because they are chemical messengers, nerve chemical messengers to our brain cells and neurons for our actions, dili dili ala tool, for our energy, especially the motor neurons and sensory. For the sense of hearing, for sense of seeing, sense of touch, the hormones are responsible for that. Okay? So, meaning to say, ang nagdabida sa katakusan ang hormones. You get the point to activate this central nervous system, the vertebral system, in order for us to move, to think, to act, to sing, to dance, to vlog, to work, or anything. It's the chemical messenger's hormone. Now, <laughs> we need to have adequate level of chemical messenger hormone in order for that to activate in a right proportion. 
to our central nervous system and our peripheral system in order we can think properly, we have intelligence, we can move, blah, 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 so and so. Okay? Ganon! So, ang sama na nato or what? Okay. We take care of our bloodstream. Okay? Bloodstream. That's why the medical examination always take blood sample. Because it's in there that all chemical messages from them will be secreted and released. Okay? The protein also will be there, but protein will not be the final output. Protein later will be converted to hormone. Okay? You get the point? So, what gives us energy are the chemical hormone. Okay? You get the point? The last. So, ano siya? So, we have the blood here. Hmm. Ato siya idritso, pero mag-technical mag ta later, ha? Ato ipang pala mga ata anatomy, physiology, like that. As if, ano ako ngayon, I'm really a, a certified doctor. Charot! Charot lang. As if lang. Ito ka point of lang. <laughs> Sige, ano ako na sa pag-historia niya. Okay. Now, kung hugaw ang inong dugo, if you have a dirty... Uh, what we call this one hemoglobin and our hemoglobin needs iron okay in order to to process the flow of the blood properly in its circulation to the different blood vessels going to the vital organs to do their normal functions something like that okay so problem so what makes it dirty it's gonna be the antigens Okay, antigens. Okay. I discussed already the antigens, right? And the unwanted substances. What are that? Okay. So, antigens and unwanted substances. This is general term, unwanted substances. What are these unwanted substances that can cause diseases, illness, sickness, and cancers? These are all, number one, toxin. Number two, allergen. Number three, mutagen. Okay, number four, pathogen. Number five, carcinogen. So these are the five unwanted substances in which our antibodies will try to recognize and bind so that they will be eliminated in our immune system. That's why we need more antibodies. Okay? So that we don't have the COVID-19. Now that's very clear. It can be explained here. Now, if we have so many like this, these are the food of our antigens. Oh, parasite, bacteria, virus. So they will eat this in order for them to grow. Where they grow? Inside our immune system. What is their habitat? Or place their habitat? Are the free radicals their outlet they will stay there in the outlet the free radicals free radicals are as i told over and over again these are unpaired oxygen unstable oxygen atoms that would try to destroy and eat our vital organ cell membranes until such time it will be destroyed and we will be weak especially if you have a low resistance and then they'll be enjoying there that when we get sick Okay. In order for them not to survive, we need to eliminate the free radicals so that there will be no place for them to stay. One. Number two, we need to eliminate their food. In order these antigens will be eliminated. Now, vaccine is no longer needed. You get the point. Okay. Now, how can we eliminate the outlet? As I told you over and over again. Do physical exercises. Eat the nutritious foods, citrus fruits, rich in antioxidants, vitamins, vitamin C, nutrients, minerals, flavonoids, secondary metabolites, like that. So this already can stop or eliminate the free radicals location of these antigens sa mga bacteria. So, hindi siya makasulog. Okay? You get the point? Now, kung sige kagkaon ng mga carcinogenic food, mag-add ka unwanted substances in your body, 
especially if you are allowed to eat processed foods. Since you know processed foods have preservatives, nitrites, that will convert into nitrosamines as a carcinogen, that it can cause cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, stool and bowel cancer. You get the point? So problem, again. Only that, there's a lot of connection of the cancer. Um, the most critical part here, guys, is the carcinogen and the mutagen. Because carcinogen will activate your dormant inactive cells. Okay? Because we have two types of cells, active cells and dormant inactive cells. Then, if this will be activated, the dormant cells, it can cause cancer. Okay? But the point... Ganon. Now, to stop these antigens, putabang po ng atong good bacteria. Okay, good bacteria is found in our digestive system. They are the biome family that will fight these antigens. Okay, bacteria, viruses like that. So actually, guys, there's a lot of collaboration that will kill this antigen. But since if you have a weak resistance and a weak susceptibility, then you will be, you know, under disease already, especially if you are lack of nutrients, vitamins, exercise, and your lifestyle is not really that healthy. So it's gonna be like that the problem really is. Because guys, your hormones that will give you energy, as I told you, okay, like that. This is the driver of our behavior, actions, whether it is a sensory sense, okay, or whether it is a motor skills, motor meaning actions movements like that so if this is gonna be the case problem okay kind of the point so the the <laughs> hormones matters a lot and you cannot also get the right hormones if it's not fully developed in the cell receptors you know cell receptors meaning <laughs> the receptor the one who will accept the hormones in the vital organ for example i have the liver the liver have the cell and there's a cell membrane, there's a receptor that will receive the appropriate hormone. So in case of the liver, it needs a hepatic hormone. The relationship between the insulin level, between pancreas and the liver, something like that. Between hepatic hormone and pancreatic hormone. Now if your pancreas will deliver only a small insulin hormone, then problem, you will develop diabetes. Because insulin is a hormone that will regulate and control your blood sugar, okay, or glucose, you know, sugar in your bloodstream. So, tolongon yun na to, kasi ang hormones magdagdida di ara. Okay, yun na to point. Ganon. Di ba? So, based on my research, pila to kabo, pila to kabo, eh, ako na, Sugatan, puting gagahan na guys, hindi ako ma-memorize guys. Okay, but katulang mga comment ako ngayon. Okay, thank you so much for watching this health science. Usap na kong topic, nakalimut ako sa akong masuti. Bye-bye, God bless everybody. I hope you like it and share it with your friends. Okay, for this health science information. Okay. Ang, ang mga sakit, video ko mga Tagalog guys to. I don't want to speak in Tagalog. Okay? Ang, all diseases and ill health and whatever form of adverse health effects can be studied, okay, in order not to attack the human being. So, the only solution is to save our own life. Okay, bye bye, God bless everybody. I hope you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. And click the notification bell for some newest updates of I Am a Singer, Eternal Voice. Bye bye. Ganyan. Di ba? Mga palangga kong hitag.